Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to review Planet Fall by Emma Newman. This is a science fiction novel published in 2015. I received this for Christmas, it was the only book I got for Christmas, and I read most of it in a single day because I loved this book. Planet Fall is set 22 years after the founding of a human colony on an alien planet. The colony is situated at the base of an alien structure that they call God's City, and the main character is Renata Gali, the colony's 3D printer engineer. They founded this colony because they were following the religious vision of their pathfinder, a woman named Lee Su Mi. Ren and Su Mi were good friends back on Earth, and after Su Mi's like transcendental experience with like an alien message inside of a seed that put her into a coma and then made her wake up a genius, Everyone is following her to this planet where she says they are going to meet God and understand like their place in the universe. When Planet Fall begins, Lee Su Mi has been gone for 22 years. She is inside of God's city, communing with God, and Ren and the man she calls the Ringmaster, Mac, are the ones who run the colony. Nobody else is on the planet. They are the only humans there. This is the only colony. But one day, Ren and Mac see a man coming out of like the desert towards their colony. He bears a striking resemblance to Lee Su Mi. His presence in the colony begins to break down a lot of what they have based their life on, and many, many secrets, including Ren's and Max, begin to come out about the awful things that happened during Planet Fall. I mentioned in my video about my favorite books of 2015 that this book triggered some of my memories of The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell, probably because it's people going to a planet for a religious experience and then things go wrong and there are survivors and stuff, but other than that, I don't think the similarity is very strong. I was actually surprised that this book had such religious overtones. I don't think it's an incredibly strong part of the book and like, it's not the focus. I don't think that the religious experiences are a focus, probably because Ren, who is telling the story, you're seeing it all through her eyes, is, you can't, I couldn't really tell if she truly believed in Lee Su Mi's vision or if she went because she loved Su Mi. She seems to have more of a personal dedication to the woman herself than to the vision. If you've heard anything about Planet Fall so far, you've probably heard that the main character, Ren, has an anxiety disorder, she has a mental illness, and at first you just think she she's anxious, she has social anxiety, she has some weird quirks about things including like magpie behavior, collecting broken things from their recycler that because she runs the 3D uh, printer, all of the raw materials all the broken things get fed back from the colony into what is called the masher. It gets broken back down again and then fed out to build new things through everybody's printers. And Ren is responsible for maintaining the system, keeping all the 3D printers running. And she is one of the few people who has access to the masher. She can go down to the masher, see what people have discarded, and take things, and she does. That's one of the first scenes in the book. She goes and she takes something, it's broken, and she says, I can fix this. And she just constantly does this, and it's slowly revealed to you that Ren's problem is way bigger than you initially thought it was. And it's so interesting to have a science fiction novel written about a character like that with behavior like that. I can't really think of any other SF or fantasy or other novel I've read that was so much about a character with anxiety. And yeah, it is, it felt pretty extreme to me in cases, but the behavior that other people have towards Ren about this was probably the thing that I was like, that also seems really real. Like, how can other people not see this? How can they not see it and not interfere? And then when they do see it, their interference is so wrong and painful, and yet you can understand why they want to do that, why they have those reactions. I really enjoyed this. It was, it was really touching to read and, like I said, alarming to read. 
and I enjoyed that so much. Another thing that I really, really like about this book is the way that technology is integrated into the story. Basically, I think I love the idea of the 3D printers being used so heavily for this colony. The technology presented in this is going to be immediately recognizable to people today. It's going to be easier if you're not a super techie person to get your mind around it because, hey, 3D printers are relatively new, but HP makes them and you can buy them for your own home use if you have enough money now. It's, it's you know, seeping into our culture, you know, that's just sort of a given now that you can do that. The immediacy of the technology and how we could use that in the not so distant future, like in space, really impressed me. I had such a great time reading about that. Similar things with like networking and the retinal displays. I mean, the networking stuff with cloud storage, we're already doing that. The stuff with retinal displays, that is the next stage after, you know, Google Glass or whatever. Next thing you know, they're going to be doing it on contact lenses. And then the next step after that is just putting it straight in your eye, <laughs> which I don't think I would go for. The other thing that I want to talk about this book is the ending. A lot of people love everything about this book except for the ending, that it just wasn't long enough, that it went off in a direction that they didn't think addressed um, what the rest of the story seemed to be about. And I've actually come down on the side of thinking that I think the ending is perfectly fine. I think that if you focus on this story as being about Ren, her experiences, her emotions, her decisions, her life history, the ending makes sense because it ends when Ren's story ends. I mean, you might argue that why does she even make that decision at the end? And I would say because that's the kind of person that she is because that is her priority. That's what she wants. That's what she thinks about. That's what she is obsessed with. That's the thing that is hurting her that she wants to know that she has to do and she does it and yeah that's when the story ends the thread throughout the entire thing for me was ren and her behavior and what she wanted what she was doing and therefore the ending just made a lot more sense to me that is everything i have to say about planet fall by emma newman if you've read this book of course let me know what you think down in the comments if you want to read it as well and if you think that there are any similar books that i should read definitely let me know because this is the kind of science fiction that I really enjoy. So thank you guys very much for watching. I will be back soon with another video and until then, bye.